Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to arm your quad when it's inverted. So why would you want to arm your quad when it's inverted? In beta flight there's a setting that stops the quad arming when it's beyond a certain angle and to be honest I've always thought this was a ridiculous default setting but I can sort of see the logic. If you try to arm your quad while it's on a slope, it might take off at an unusual angle and crash or something. But there's so many disadvantages to this setting when you're out flying, I've no idea why it's a beta flight default. So here's my take on it. Number one, the quad won't arm. You've built your quad and you're testing it on the bench. Everything looks good, the arm switch is working but it refuses to arm the motors when you connect a battery. If you've got the quad an angle beyond the small angle setting, that could be the reason why. And it's pretty confusing. Number two, your quad is stuck up a tree. We've all done it. A quick way to get it back is to arm the quad and blip the throttle a few times. With any luck, it'll jump out of the branch it's caught in and you won't have to start climbing. If small angle is set, the quad won't arm unless it's pretty flat and level. And that's unlikely in a crash, and you won't be able to arm it. If your quad has crashed in some long grass and you can't see it or hear the buzzer, just arm the quad and blip the throttle. With some props on, it's likely to kick up some grass and you can see it and probably hear it. If it's inverted, you can't do that when small angle's set. Nothing. So I always make the small angle setting equal to 180 on all my beta flight builds, so it will always arm regardless of the angle the quad is. This is really easy to do. Changing the value of small angle is incredibly easy. Just connect your quad to beta flight with a USB lead, connect to the quad, give it a waggle round just to make sure that it's working, and go to the command line interface. And to see the current value of small angle, just type in get small angle. And we can see here that it's set to 45. That's 45 degrees. What that simply means is that if the quad is more than 45 degrees from the horizontal, in either pitch or roll, it won't arm. And we need to allow it to arm at any angle, so set it to 180. To do that, just type in set small angle equals 180. There we go, it's changed. Now, although it's changed here, it hasn't actually changed on the EEPROM on the flight controller, so we need to save that. Saving will actually save to the EEPROM on the quad and reboot and we can quickly check that is the correct value by reconnecting. Go to the command line interface and typing in get small angle. There we go, it's 180 degrees. So now we can arm the quad at any angle we want to. Nice and easy. I hope you found that useful. Remember this is only an issue with beta flight and KISS doesn't suffer the same problem. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you next time.